I'm going to show you how to install the side spool holder. And this is what it is. It's a, a post and I have a nut and a washer and then we have a little white disc that will slide on. Then I have the black disc and when the thread is in there, the thread will go between these two like this and then you'll have also the thread on the other, I mean felt on the other side and then the white washer on this side and then it's going to be attached to the machine right here. Now the reason we have this tool is so that you can use spool that is wound um, on a regular spool like this one is here. And I want you to see the difference between a regular spool and a cross wound spool. A cross wound the thread is meant to be pulled directly from the top and so that would be like our cone here but a spool like this where it's wound it needs to be pulled off like this and spin and so we'll have this extra um, side spool holder to accommodate these specialty threads that require um, that kind of pulling. So the way we're going to put that onto the machine is I need to get a screwdriver and pop out this little um, white cover. If you can get in here and take that get out, right take that. underneath it, it'll come right out. Now the instructions say that it should be able to fit into this, but we found that this is larger and this is included, so this is what you need to screw into. So this goes in the groove and then this screws into it. And you want the bump part to the back so your thread will um, screw in neatly there. But this doesn't fit this way. You've got to get it in there first and then screw to it. And that's been a little bit challenging for us. So we found this little trick. If we uh, uh, put this little foam sticky part to the back like that and then slip it in here it will hold still for me and then it's easy to screw the post in because that little um, slotted part is um, stuck in there nicely. So I screw that in and now I can put my thread on And then rather than coming up to this thread guide on the top of the machine, just skip that one and go straight over into this thread guide and it will spin as your thread pulls. You can tighten these up so it doesn't spin too hard or too fast. It has just a little bit of resistance if it goes like that. That's how it works.